hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer using photoshop before any further i do let's get started the first thing i'm going to copy my color code go to your solid color then you paste now i'm going to bring this image to photoshop then scale it out like this now i'm going to reduce the opacity to 10 then apply layer mask and you blend the top here okay after then i'm going to bring this image again then scale it out this way then go to your filter blur Gaussian blur 19.4 okay then rasterize it hold your shift and control key then you press U on the keyboard now I'm going to select luminosity then this is what I have then go back again then bring this light flare then position it this area then go to your blending mode select screen then i'm going to apply a blur go to blur gaussian blur then i will reduce it to 8.8 .8. it's okay then apply layer mask and you blend the edges here all right then the second one again i'm going to bring this light the lens flare here then drag it to photoshop then apply screen then take it up over here then go to your Gaussian blur then you blur it this way 7.4 now select your layer mask then go to brush then I'll brush it over here like this okay now that i have this one then the next thing is to copy my test which is this ctrl c to copy select your test tool then ctrl v to paste the font i'm using here is popping then reduce the font size right then apply center alignment then ctrl j to duplicate it then copy your test ctrl v to paste then increase it to match it with this one then i'm going to change the color then this is the color i'm going to use copy the code then paste it so yeah is the color all right 
then I'm going to copy this one again then I'll duplicate this one Ctrl J then and paste it Ctrl V now we change the color to white then change the font to this brush script then I will apply a drop shadow then the distance is 4 spread 5 and the size is 6 blending mode normal and opacity 100% Alright, then I'm going to copy one or I type it, select your test tool, then I'm going to type one. Then I will change the font to impact, then apply center alignment so that it will be positioned at the center then I will increase the size okay like this is okay then now I'm going to type there like this and I will change the font to popping bold then the space I will close it a bit then I'll position it here then I will going to copy this font color and I'll paste it here okay now what i will do now i'm going to duplicate this one then i will off this one then the same thing to one i'll duplicate it off this one then i'll drag this one up then now i will rasterize them okay then i'm going to hold my control key you click on day then go to select modify expand i'll expand it by five click ok then i'll go to select my eraser tool then i'll click on one then i'll click over here like this ctrl d this is what i have all right then i'm going to click on the present and i'll bring this brush here reduce it and i'll position it over here like this then i will select this one and I'll group it then I can now name it one day then bring it down a little okay this is how it is now I'm going to select my test tool and I will copy program then control B to paste and I will change the font change the font then to popping then I will make it medium ok then change the color to white then you reduce the size Okay. 
Alright, this is how it come out. Then copy the theme. Then I will duplicate the program. Then I will remove this one from the group. Then I will paste it. Then I will apply center alignment. Ctrl D to deselect. Then come back to your test and I will copy this test over here. Select my test tool. Then Ctrl D to paste. Then I will make it black bold. Then I will close it a bit close the space all right so now that i close the character space then i'm going to scale it out big like this then zoom in and zoom out to see how it will come out all right so this is how it come out now i'm going to duplicate it ctrl j then i'll off this one then rasterize this one i'm going to draw to draw a an ellipse tool Then I'll take it over here. Then I will click on this ellipse to hold your control key. Then you clip, click here. Sorry. Click on the ellipse tool. Then I'm going to off it so that you see what I'm going to do. Then click on the test. Then select your eraser tool. Then I'm going to click over here. This way. Then Ctrl D to deselect. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy this text over here. Then I will select my text tool. Then Ctrl V to paste, and I'm going to change the font to this orange font here. Now to reduce the size, then I will place it over here. Something like this. All right. Then. I'm going to copy this one again. Ctrl C. Then I'll duplicate this one. Ctrl J. Then drag it down. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. Now I'm going to to scale it out, make it more bigger this way, Ctrl A, then apply center alignment, then Ctrl D to deselect, right, I have something like this. Then I'm going to this God, the test God. Then I'm going to apply a blending option. Okay. Now I'm using smooth. Then I will increase the size. To 18 
18 is too much. I'll bring it down to 12. Then this is the contour I'm using here. All right. Then I'm going to apply this inner glow. I'll select the color. Yes, okay. Then my opacity, I will increase it to 94 or 100%, anyone you want. Then my size is 95%. Then satin black. My opacity, I will increase it to 61 to 59. Then distance 40, size 68. All right. Then your shadow. My shadow seven. The distance seven, the spread four, and the size nine. Okay. Then I'm going to apply the same thing. So this one, the shadow. Then. I'm going to apply satin. No, I will remove satin. Apply inner glow. Then change the color to yellow or orange color. Something like this. Then you click OK. Now, this is how it will come out. Okay. Then copy your test. Then I'm going to apply a rectangle over here like this. Then I will change the color to yellow. Then I will remove this key. Here I will type 21. Then this other side 21. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then this up one, I will make it white color or the color here. Then I will use my arrow key on the keyboard. To move it, then select your test tool and paste the one you copy. I will change the color to black, then make it medium or semi bold. Now I will reduce the size then I place it over here all right then over here I will copy this date then duplicate this one control J I'll take it up here now move this one here then control V to paste and I will change the color to orange color then make it bold reduce the size a bit all right then i'm going to duplicate this one and 
I'll copy this text here. Control V to paste. I'll reduce the size and take it up this way. Then duplicate this one and drag it down and copy your time. Then paste. Okay. Now I'm going to copy location. Then bring this one. Your location. Drag it down. Then I'm going to image. Go to adjustments, hue and saturation. Then you drag this one to the white area. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. Now reduce it. Then come to this place. Make it 10. I'm going to draw a rectangle over here. Then change the color to white. And I will copy this test here over here then control V to paste then I will change the color to black and I will reduce the size then scale it a bit okay now this is what we have Then I'm going to bring this light flare, reduce it, then change it to screen. Now I'm going to position it over here. Then select your layer mask, go to your brush. And you brush the edges over here. So this is what we have in this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share.